I'm back with another review and more Overcast. I swear, global warming's a real thing. <laughs> well, today we are going to be doing a review of the Shane Black release known as The Nice Guys. Now, The Nice Guys was written by Shane Black, a legend in the uh, town of Hollywood. And uh, a gentleman by the name of Anthony Bagarozzi. Now, Bagarozzi is known throughout Hollywood as a collaborator with Shane Black and a lot of other things, but uh, just recently got on the scene. Uh, first major credit was The Nice Guys, and he'll be going on to write Jekyll, Doc Savage, and a Death Note film adaptation. So, guy must have gotten a break, which is always good to hear. Now, um, those of you not familiar with Shane Black, he invented the, the buddy cop well, he, he didn't really invent the buddy cop. He kind of just made it a major thing. He's, he's written almost every buddy cop film there is. He's done Lethal Weapon 1 through 4. He's done The Last Boy Scout, which I feel is a very underappreciated vehicle of his, as well as Bruce Willis. It's a fucking great movie. It's super cool. I recommend checking that one out. It's been out for, like, decades. Um, Let's see. He did uh, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, which is... A cult favorite among the masses with Robert Downey Jr. and Val Kilmer, which uh, I recommend you check that out too. It's really good if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, his more well, oh, and also he did uh, Long Kiss Goodnight, which is not really a buddy cop film, but it's a fucking awesome movie. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he did. Um, he was also in Predator. He was uh, one of the gentlemen in Predator, and um, yeah, I mean the guy knows action movies. He knows good movies. And he definitely knows good writing. Although I wasn't a fan of Iron Man 3, which he d directed and wrote. Um, but, hey, I mean, for a list, as previously mentioned, I mean, I can't complain much. So, But anywho, on to the film. The film stars Russell Crowe and Ryan Gosling. Now, Russell Crowe plays a muscle for hire with a heart of gold. Basically, he helps. He is a nice guy. He uh, takes jobs. To where if anybody is having trouble with, like, say, somebody won't leave you alone or some creep is hitting on your teenage daughter, you hire him, he'll knuckle him up. And uh, Ryan Gosson plays a down-on-his-luck detective who is also a dad, and he is a uh, heavy drinker in this one. But it's it's a characteristic of it, though. It's, it, uh, it's not so much like a serious thing, but, well, sort of if you get further into the character development, but... Um, but yes, they cross paths. Uh, Russell Crowe muscles up Ryan Gosling because somebody hired him, a girl hires him to take care of him because he's been following. But it's a lead to a case that Ryan Gosling has. So their paths cross because their their situations interlock and it turns out to be something a lot more than what we are shown. Which is always a, a classic... Um, a classic story format two individuals they don't like each other and then they end up becoming best of friends like it's the buddy film and it's it's a great great thing like there's been some terrible ones crash course with jay leno and pat marita Ugh, a gnome named norm i could go on i could go on forever baby but um but yeah so there's that one it, but it's it's a really good flick it has a great 70s feel to it. The look being the city and the clothes and the way people just carry themselves. And usually, like, I'll make a note of this on the soundtrack. The soundtrack, um, the mixtape part of the soundtrack, which is what I call where they get a collection of songs and they put it in the film. It's full of your, you know, your essential 1970s hits. But it makes sense because they're in Hollywood. They're out in the masses and everything else like that. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just really, really well done. Now, um, another good thing about this film is, that I like about Shane Black's work as well is when he writes children into the story, they're not, it's a part that's not written for an adult that just so happens to be played by a child or they don't make the child smarter than what they look or what they should be. Now, um, Angori Rice, I believe is the way she says her name, but she plays Ryan Gosling's daughter, Holly. 
And she is a fucking great character in the film. Like she, uh, if she gets caught in the situation that she puts herself in, she could handle it or she can, she's actually in a, a very valuable asset to the team. And uh, that's, that's something that I feel a lot of writers can really take note on because usually when I see a film with a, a kid in it, in a situation that really doesn't call for them just to be like a comedy relief for annoying or for the sense of cuteness, I, I turn off. Like, it's just not interesting to me. It's annoying, in fact. Like, I often shout the scream, you need to plug that thing or just get rid of it. It's dead weight. But <laughs> that's so brutal. Um, but yes, um, it, it's, it's a really great film. Even the score itself is wonderfully done. Um, I really strongly recommend that you check out The Nice Guys. It's a super cool film. Uh, the violence is is there and it's it's over the top but it's not like oh oh I, I winged him there's a bunch of fucking fountains of blood coming out of a head or anything like that it actually calls for it because it's what's given to you it's not like oh i shot him in the chest and his fucking entire breastplate just exploded no it's actually a it's a good it's a good 1970s buddy film and uh yeah i mean it's not doing well in the box office, much like Shane Black's film history, mostly. But well, as a as a director and of his own things. But I feel that this one is gonna it's gonna slowly find its audience, like Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. And I really hope that this isn't the last we hear of him, um, particularly as a writer slash director. But uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you also see some just really quick. You'll see some familiar faces in it: Kim Basinger, Keith David, and um, a few others. But it's it's a really good flick, and um, yeah, I mean, if you guys are looking for a really good action buddy comedy, I really strongly recommend this one. So yeah, so that's that's gonna do it. If you want to go ahead and leave a comment in the section about what you thought about the film, please feel free. Um, if there's a film you'd like me to review, please suggest. I love suggestions. Or even if it's a, a TV show or um, just anything, really. <laughs> I love reviewing. It's fun. So, yeah. I will talk to you guys later on that one. Peace. Bye.